to the Predator Arena at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas for the inaugural Q Sports International 10-Ball Invitational Championship. 16 of the greatest players in the world have been invited here by CSI. They've been divided into four groups representing the different areas of the world that they're from. And they will be playing a round-robin format over the first two and a half days, and that's right now, leading up to where the winner of each of the four groups will proceed into a single elimination bracket final, two semifinals and a final, and that will occur starting at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Before we go ahead and introduce the players for this match, I'd like to take an opportunity to say thank you to the sponsors that have contributed so wonderfully to make this event possible, beginning, of course, with Q Sports International, our gracious hosts here, the Rio Hotel and Casino, Predator Cues, the official cue of the CSI Invitationals, Psych Block Billiard Balls, Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Clock, Billiards Digest, The Magic Ball Rack, Wheat and Fiber Company, and Master Chalk. In addition to our thanks to all of those sponsors, a special thank you to each and every one of you out there watching live around the world and to all of you great fans right here ringside. The events don't happen without that kind of support, so thank you all very, very much. This is an incredible matchup we've got for you right now. You know, one of the interesting and unique things about our, our sport is people get inducted into the Hall of Fame before they're retired players. And it's not often that you get an opportunity to watch two Hall of Fame all-time greats play while still at the peaks of their games. So it's my honor at this time to introduce our first Hall of Fame player who comes to us from Manching, Germany. Among his legendary Hall of Fame accomplishments include 17 times representing Team Europe on the Moscone Cup. It's an unprecedented record. He holds U.S. Open Championships in nine ball and straight pool. He has six World Pool Masters Championships to his credit, also a world record. He has world titles in eight ball, nine ball, and straight pool. He's sponsored by Simonis, by Predator, Kamui, Universal Cues, QWiz, and Stroke Sports. Truly one of the game's great gentlemen, along with one of its greatest players. Please welcome the Kaiser. It's Ralph Suke. and his most worthy Hall of Fame opponent from Angeles City in the Republic of the Philippines. His stellar record also includes U.S. Open championships in nine ball and two in one pot. He's a world nine ball champion. He has three world eight ball titles. He holds six Derby City one pocket crowns, two Derby City nine ball crowns, and five Derby City all around world championships. Sponsored by Puyat Sports, ladies and gentlemen, the most famous name in the game, and arguably the greatest of all time, please welcome the magician, it's Efren Reyes. Okay, guys, go ahead and add for the break. Race to nine, alternate break format. Your referee for both matches is Joe Destro. Are we on here? Can't. Check, check. <coughs> Tim. Tim. Okay. All right, Mr. Cotton, we are on the air. Good morning. Good morning, Bobby. How are you? Good morning to all you people watching. Hi, everybody out there. Ken Schumann here with Robert Cotton LeBlanc. And uh, like I was just announcing to the audience, Bobby, how often in any sport do you get to see two great Hall of Fame level players still playing top level pool, competing? Almost every other sport, you got to be retired before you're in the Hall of Fame. You don't play anymore, you know? Yeah, I never th any talk, thought about that. Yeah, you're very, right. very unique to, to professional pool. And. Um, I'm just I'm just thrilled to be able to sit here and watch these two guys who have who have given us so much pleasure and so much enjoyment over the years. Just made the game so exciting and so interesting. So 
So let's see what's uh, going to happen. Efren with a ball in the side, lost the cue ball a little. Not going to be able to make the one, I don't think. How's it look to you? No. Can't get there, huh? Can't get there. He'll bank it back down here past the three and go behind them balls on the left, I believe. That's what I think. Yeah, kind of looks like the, the most obvious of the shots. But trying to predict what Efren's going to do is uh, like buying a lottery ticket. Here's a question. You, you're been commentating for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. And I've played pool my whole life for a living. So the commentating thing to me is a new thing. When you commentate, do you think that people like it when you s give your opinion of what they're going to do? I think so. Um, I, mean, I think part of a commentator's time. job, you know, most let, let's just talk generalizations. You watch football, baseball, basketball. Usually you've got a play-by-play -play man and a color analyst. Mm -hmm. And the play-by-play -play -play guy describes the play, and the analyst gives insights into, you know, why they ran that play or he took that shot or this or that. In pool, you, you know, you, you really don't have a play-by-play -play, um, responsibility. What are you going to say? Well, he's going to play the one, then he's going to play the two, then he's going to play the three. So I do feel part of the job of the commentator is to provide insight to the to the viewer not so much to think to try to predict you know what's the guy thinking but what are his options what can happen if he does this how, what's he thinking about if he leaves his opponent but i don't think we should do it on a shot by shot basis you know not every shot of every game some some of these racks almost describe themselves if the guy's got to connect the dots kind it's of thing, that's you know? It's, di it's, it's difficult to commentate on this 10 ball because it's pretty much connect the dots, you know what I'm saying? One pocket or even eight balls different because there's so many St variations. And there's a lot of strategy. But this here, like, you know he's going to shoot the one in the corner, you know he's shooting right. the two in the side, the three on the other side, right. blah, blah. Well, yeah, but, but I still think that there's insights into, okay, what's the best way to get on the two, to get on the three? You know, we've often described to folks that may be a little newer to watching some of this that rotation games are usually played in threes. You're looking three balls ahead. You want to get the an angle for an angle for an angle. And then as yeah. you make one ball, you add one more to the equation. Well, I was just wondering, you know. Uh, you I mean, you and I, opinion. you and I have done a lot of this over the last couple of years together, and I've always taken the approach, whether I'm sitting with you or Billy or Jeremy or or whoever it might be, that I'd like to I'd like to commentate it as if you and I were sitting at home in our living room watching it on television, you know, and we're just talking about the game and what we see and well, yeah, what we're that. impressed with and and all of that um, and and not to uh, you know not to bore the audience and not to try to get overly technical because yeah. maybe not everybody is familiar with games at this level and maybe there are some people watching for the first time this week that haven't seen some of these players especially maybe some of the guys from from Taiwan or Possibly, uh, maybe people haven't had, <coughs> excuse me, had a lot of exposure to Jason Shaw or John Mora. Yeah. <coughs> excuse me. I but I think it's it. also okay to to have a little a little you know silent time too when the action pretty much is describing itself. Gotcha. I see what you mean. But in other words, my friend. Don't don't change anything that yet you've uh, you, you've been doing. Yeah, I just yeah, I was just curious because you get you hear different opinions. Some well, you're not gonna you're them. not gonna please everybody, and you know th I'm sure there are people that maybe they don't like my style or your style, and they like Billy or Danny or the, some p other commentators. That's fine. I mean, everybody's got their own preferences and favorites. I'm just trying to do what I think is the right thing by. Yeah. The players and by the, 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 the people that are paying me to sit here and do this.
but one thing I will add to it, especially more, f more maybe from your side of things than from mine, because I, you know, I've been uh, I've been playing 50 years, but you played for a living for the most part your your right. life. I didn't. <coughs> you you and Billy can probably bring more more insight and uh, you know technical yeah. technical aspects of the game, uh, perhaps, uh, and, and from a from a teaching standpoint, a learning standpoint, helping people to understand why the balls react the way they do, yeah, yeah, huh, why yeah. when you say he's got to draw this to shorten it up, what does that mean and how does that, you know, why, why would he want, why, why would he need to do that? What would happen if he hit the cue ball high instead of low, you know? Yeah. So I'll tell you, I learned an incredible amount about the game for the first 10 or 15 years that I watched AccuStats tapes mm -hmm. and listened to Billy and Danny uh, for the most part and Buddy and Grady and yeah, yeah. all of those guys. And I think that's helped me to, to form the style and approach that I have to, to doing this. And keeping people informed about if, you know, if it's possible, depending on this, the tournament and the size of the, of, the, of the field and all that, you know, what's going on within the tournament too as far as who's progressing, who isn't, um, was there you know, any big upsets, any spectacular things happen. Because I, I've often really felt, especially when we have events that are streamed, um, it's entertainment. You know, it's a, it's a production just like a baseball game or a football game. They're in the entertainment business. Not to change the subject, but this is the ball that I missed in Reno. Yeah, we talked about this shot this yesterday. Even I shot it right to the rail. Yeah, we talked about how, this. yeah. He about did the same thing. Yeah, w remember Shane had that shot yeah. yesterday, and he almost missed it because he thought you said he was going to, he didn't quite spin it as much as he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, And we've talked about that, so that's it that's very interesting. It, it yeah. It's easy to miss. So Ralph out in front. And uh, that was on Efren's break, alternate break format here. And over there, we got John Morrill. He's a game ahead. Who's it? So who's it playing in the one o'clock match? Uh, the one o'clock matches. Um, we've got um, Kevin Chung is going to play Corey Duell, and then we've got Jason Shaw playing Francisco. Are those the matches to see who goes forward? Uh, I think there's a possibility there. Shaw is two and zero, oh, and I think Francisco is one and one. Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm I don't want to to say this <laughs> definitively um, because I don't know the other two guys' records off the top of my head. But if if Bustamante beat Shaw and they wind up tied at two and one, Busti would go through based on the head-to-head -head tiebreaker yeah, yeah. he had having beaten Jason. Right now, and again, it's it's a little hard for me to know every nuance of this, yeah. but um, John Mora and uh, Koping Chung are playing, and um, Chung is two and zero, oh and w and John is one and one. So if John were to beat him, they'd both be two and one, and John would hold the tiebreaker over him. But Efren is one and one. Ralph's zero and two. Ralph can't get there no matter what. But Efren's one and one. So if Efren beats Ralph, he's two and one. If John wins, he's two and one. And Co is two and one. And in head to head, um, Efren lost to Co. But Efren beat John Mara. So you can see it's getting a little <laughs> convoluted, and it may wind up going to rack differential, which we talked a little bit about yesterday. And I'm going to kind of table that for the moment. It's a little complicated. Um, I was as the match, as as this ma as this when these matches are over, we're we're going to know if we've got a tie or a tiebreaker situation. Somebody, somebody. Call me a blockhead because I they didn't because I couldn't understand it. <laughs> Listen, it's I, I'm still not a hundred percent sure. It's it's very it's very hard to to follow unless you 
can kind of almost see it written down in front of you. Wow, look at this break. Where's yeah, but the deuce is no co not good for him. No, yeah. Yeah, somebody said, hey, Cotton's a blockhead. He can't figure out nothing. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. The only thing we are sure of right now is the two semifinalists for the first semifinal at 3 o'clock. That's the Group A winner versus the Group B winner, and it's going to be Copigny against Dennis or Cuyo. We know That's that. That's at 3? That's at 3 okay. o'clock. And the Group C winner he from here and the Group D winner, which will be determined in the next round, will play each other at 5 p.m. And then those two semi-winners gotcha. will, will tee off about 7 o'clock. So Ralph looking for a place to push, and there's really no, no, no good one. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it, yeah. he, he might just push where... Even if he pushes Bobby where he can just barely tick the two, um, Efren might take that and put Ralph in a worse position. But you got to push here. You cannot kick at this ball. No, no, I'd say just move, move the nine a little bit and let yourself have a piece of the two. Yeah. Maybe even tie the nine up now. Yeah, with the with the five, which is not bad. I mean, it's a makeable combination, yeah. but. Um, He's given Efren a piece of the two. It's a question of can he can he can he cross it and put it behind the ten and go up there behind the f the five nine. Right. I think that's what he's going to try to do. If anybody can do it, he he's the man to do it. You mean just like that? Just like you wrote it up? You know how tricky that was. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know how hard that was. You got to miss all them balls in there. But he makes it look easy. He handles the cue ball so beautiful, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah, he just handles the cue ball. It's just. Well, meanwhile, John Mora is doing what he needs to do. He's already 2-0 ahead of Ko Ping Chung. But see if they if there's a three way tie, the head to head doesn't come into play. It goes right to rack differential. Yeah. Regardless of the format, what, getting to watch these guys play is a one-time thing. The oh. top 16 players in the, in it's, the world. It's great. You know, so you can't. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. there hasn't been, uh, for lack of a better term, a bad match. A bad, you know, no. a matchup that you say, well, I'll, I, I, I can pass on watching that one. No, I no. can't. <laughs> and as you and I have been going back and <coughs> forth all week with who do you like, who do you like, almost every match, there's no bad choice. No, everybody everybody plays good, and everybody has a chance to win it. Well, he got lucky. It'll pass the eight. He was it trying to go, go by. by well, it will, I think. He was trying to go by it and yep, play, play yeah. it in the corner. I think it'll go by the eight, and if it does, he can float. Uh, oh, no, the, the four's four, next. Yeah, the four's down here. He well, it's got to be. No, he's he's back cutting it. I guess it won't go. Three, three rails. rails. Yeah. Don't get on the on the rail straight now. Well, he's got to if he's straight, he's got to play the five nine, and it looks really snug to go by the eight ball. I think if he just slow rolls it, it goes right by there. Look, it just hits it straight on. Yeah, uh, the only advantage that'll help it is it's the first match of the day. The table is clean, and the balls are brand new. Mm -hmm. The set was opened just an hour ago oh, really? out of the box. Yep. Oh, really? Brand new balls, clean cloth. So I think it's going to make the nine play a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. The problem is going to be, will the five then go in the corner, or is he going to do something with the cue ball to move the five as well? There's uh, a lot of work to do here to get a sh another shot should he make the combination. You smell good. 
Well, that's <laughs> that the nicest you? thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> is it you? Yeah. Yeah, you smell good. Well, thank you. Well, I haven't changed my clothes for four days. I had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, you told me I smelled like cigarettes. You and did? I, well, I did. I'll admit it. But you know what? Where I go to smoke, there's like 20,000 other people uh, smoking. So, yeah. you know, you're in the cloud. All right, let's see what he does here. He's not going to hit it very the five, firm. The five's going to pretty much stay where it's, it's at. It's going to go the rail. Oh, boy. Did he try to play it off the eight, or do you no, think he I just missed it? He, I think he just missed it. Yeah. But, I mean. I think he was more concerned about making sure he had a shot on the five, too, you know, and that was wow. part of it. That was part adding I part of the I difficulty. I think he just had to roll that ball and hit the Yeah. Because he, he didn't even have a third of a pocket. And yeah. He had to hit the rail first. Yeah. And he shot it right to the eight. Yeah. I think the best match I've seen since we've been here doing this, you know, is uh, is Shane. Shane and Co. Yeah. Uh huh. Man, I'll tell you something. Both of them played good. And that co played just, I'll tell you, really, really impressive. That kid break, breaking the ball a thousand miles an hour and stopping the cue ball. Mm -hmm. Comes straight back. Yeah, he, he definitely, uh, he was the better breaker in that match. There's no he, question he, about he, it. But his position and everything. Yep. Shot making, everything he played so good. One of the things Billy pointed out, too, about him. Um, Look at this shot. Oh, per perfect. Well, Beautiful. How good did he hit Beautiful. this? Good grief. Yeah. Yeah, one of the things Billy pointed ab out about Copigny, that's who we're talking about, uh, the older brother, um, was the touch he had on drawing the cue ball between a two and three feet. You know, yeah. like, like, and you're shooting six feet to the object ball and yeah. you've got to draw the cue ball two to three feet and like an intermediate draw stroke. And his control was, was just uncanny. And uh, we're going to get to see him play because he's already through to the semifinals. Three o'clock against Dennis. Boy, that's going to be a match. Yeah. I, I, I cha I'm changing my pick. You well, can't change your pick a, an hour before the, the, the no, semifinals. I want, I want Poe. What's his name? Copigny. I want him to win the tournament. Oh, you want him to win? Yeah, okay. that's who I'm picking to win the tournament. Now you're picking him against, and he's playing the guy that you picked oh, two days ago. Yeah, but I changed my mind. You can change, you can, I'll let you change your mind. I want P. I, I, <laughs> P, Copigny. Copigny. John, he's played the bat. I, man, I just, I'm hard to impress, and he played so good yesterday. But, you know, Dennis. You. And you still got Boosty. I got Boosty, and he's he's not even out of his group. I mean, a few good things have to happen for him to. Well, he's playing Jason Shaw. That's gonna be a good and, match. And, That's and, gonna be a and match. Shaw. And when is, what time is that match? Next. Sweet. And Shaw. TV table, I hope. I don't know. Um, I don't know which way they've got it, because you see Corey's playing also in his final match, and Corey has yet to play on the streaming table, so I don't know if they're putting him here or uh, they're going to put the Shaw Boosty match here. We'll, 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 we'll certainly know soon enough. Yeah. But um, Shaw is 2-0, and oh and Boosty's 1-1. One and one. So if Bustamante beats Shaw, they both have a 2-1 and one record, and Boosty would hold the tiebreaker advantage by have beating Shaw head-to-head. -head. But what I don't know is if uh, <laughs> how the uh, other two players, which are Corey and Kevin Chang, stand as far as their records are concerned. But we'll we'll certainly try to get all that info before yep. we before we lag for the next uh, the next group. But, I mean, one thing is certain. If Jason Shaw wins his match, he's 3-0, and and it's a done deal, and he yeah. proceeds to the semifinals. Well, that six was going, but it got kissed out, and that break was pretty weak. 
you know, yeah, yesterday Efren broke pretty good in that match he played against he broke, John Moore. Breaking from the side. Yeah, too. yeah. Well, I wouldn't be surprised because it took him two or three breaks yesterday before he moved to the side. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see him move next time. Next, next break. Next I bet break he, goes, he gets. Yeah. yeah. Is that there? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing was working there. Well, nothing real look good looking here for Ralph. He's got an easy safe draw behind the four. I don't think he's going to try to play the carom on the nine. I think it's jack up yeah, and just uh, draw, it back. draw it back behind the four. Yeah. Oh boy, hit it nice too. I think he hit it hard enough. Hard to tell. It's close. He, yeah, he may have him. Efren can one rail kick it, or he could mass say it. Yeah, he got him. I think he's got a one rail kick. To, uh, had to kind of be aware that that was a possibility, kicking that way. He wanted to catch the one very thin mm -hmm. and have the cue ball slide down here behind yep. the two. And once again, Ralph rewarded for a well-executed safety. Just looking, on, he's looking at his path from the two to the three because the uh, seven ball's taken up a lot of the room Seven balls, the one in near the near the side pocket. I just shoot and stop the cue ball about where the one is. You know. Yeah, and then just draw between the seven and the, right, and the, uh, and the, five. And the five, right? And spin it, right down there. Yeah. yeah, and then it's just going to be a question of does the four go under the nine, or does he need to get the angle on the three to play them both in the same pocket? Go. He's got the combination, I know, but or he can just play the four into the rail and just caroms off the nine, which I like. Yeah, right. and with the five sitting in front yeah, of the pocket, that's stop. probably that's probably a good option too, yeah. Bobby. Good, good, good observation. All right, three one over there. John Moore in the lead, and you're right. He stopped it right there, just about to the middle diamond on the uh, long rail is the target. Maybe hitting the diamond and mm -hmm. bouncing off three to six inches. Or that, or that. Seven sitting, he's thinking he just don't want to go too far. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, he's got to miss the seven, but yet and still not go too far right. down there. He don't want to go past three. Good speed, excellent speed. Looks like it's going to be right on the money. Oh, excellent middle diamond. That's what we said. Perfect, huh? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful shot. And now he actually can do either with the four ball. He he can draw around it, play it in the same pocket. Or he can get his angle to either play the combination or slide it under the nine, as you suggested. If it, if he's got the room, he's going to go underneath it. But evidently he didn't. And I think it goes myself. There's obviously no concern to him because he's looking at the five, which tells me he's not playing the combination. Yeah, I believe he's going to go the rail. I'm not sure it even needs to hit the nine. You don't think? No. Nah. Kind of hard to tell from up here. Yeah. No, he didn't. He had room, plenty of room. All right. Now what he needs to get is either dead straight on the six or the angle on the six. Oh, excuse me, that's the seven. He needs to get in, to get on the six uh, where it'll go no, in the he left got pocket. A little tricky here. He, he might, did. He might run into the seven here, or, he, or just catch the side of it. If he catches well. the side, he's good. Yeah, but the six don't pass the eight. He's no, but he's going to shoot the six over there. It hits yeah, but the right side of the seven. Yeah, but he's 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 headed towards the eight ball, isn't he, with no. the cue ball? I think. Or he's is he headed in between them? Hopefully, he's heading in between them. Or if he's headed for the seven, then he's just going to yeah, no, rub no. the seven. It's 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 more awkward than that, Cotton. It's more awkward than that. No, he's shooting the six in this left corner. I'm telling you. Just like that, right? Well, if you got that kind of control, <laughs> you should be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, he is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how good did he hit that shot? Oh, huh? sweet. Twisted, twisted that ball yeah. in and avoided all that. Yeah, a real, uh, a real finesse touch needed on a shot like that. You've got to predict 
how much it, the, the, the forward roll is going to wear off and how quickly mm -hmm. it's going to slow itself down. And this, this Cyclop cue ball, as we've said, it tends to want to follow itself. So that even added a little more difficulty to the shot. Another nice hit. Yeah, he's feeling real comfortable. gave Ralph one of my books and I signed it to R A L P H Ralph. Oh you didn't. Yes oh, I did. I felt like didn't. such a dummy. <laughs> to Ralph like Ralph cramped it. Yeah. <laughs> like my honeymooners. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. He laughed. He thought it was funny. Well, let's say this. It's the only one of its kind in existence. Uh -huh. With that with that ins inscription. He's such a nice guy and he he read my book and the next day he friended me on Facebook. Did he? Yeah, he's such a nice guy. Yeah. They don't get any nicer than this guy. No, he's I mean, a cool dude. Like I was saying yesterday, I, I think uh, young John Mora is kind of in the in that suke growth pattern where Here's that shot another again. Ten, 10 years or so we're going to be talking about him I in the same way. Shot, uh, yep. Ken. I hate this for some and, reason. And you know how many, this shot comes up probably 50% of the games <laughs> in 10 ball because the 10's always right around I there. I can't stand this shot, though. But why is look, it? Look, look. Yeah. I mean, he shot to the outside the hole. And you know? But why is it the cue ball is always near the rail on that shot, no matter <laughs> what you do? How many times have we seen it so far? Like 100? <laughs> yeah. And he shot it to the outside of the pocket, which he come another quarter of an inch, he'd hit the point. Mm-hmm. Don't you just love Las Vegas? Uh, I do when I'm in, in the hotel doing pool tournaments or at the at the old studio doing stuff with you. And People always say, how can you live in Las Vegas? I'm like, dude, I've lived in every city in the United States, and this is the nuts here. It really is. Yeah. It is. I mean, you know, people don't. It's out. You know, you're not, you're not at the casinos drunk every night. Well, of course not. Lo know? Locals know better. Yeah. They got some great local restaurants here. You know, where the locals go. There's a place called Nora's out here on Flamingo. Flamingo and Jones. You ever eat there? No, I don't believe oh I have. Oh man, it's so good. You'd die. Italian food. Mm. Reasonably priced. It's where everybody goes. All the locals. I send everybody. Every time people come to town, I send them over there. I should be getting a piece of their action. <laughs> Many people I've sent in this place. <laughs> Hope Billy comes in today. Oh, he will. He's a trip, man. I'm telling you something. We <laughs> laugh. He's a funny. He's such a funny guy, you know. I, was, I, comp I complimented him yesterday because all these young guys don't know. Let me tell you something. For the big money that he could flat play, believe me, he played good for money. The higher the bet, the better he oh, played. Oh, yeah. His own money. Oh, yeah. And he wasn't one of those guys that needed a steak horse and I'll put up 50000 of somebody else's money. He bet his own cheese, and, boy, he played good for it. He's like Hopkins. Same thing with Hopkins. Another one of the best money players. I'll tell you, the best money player was, though, probably for his own cash was Keith. Keith, yeah. <laughs> He'd play you two out of three for the whole day, for the whole wide and run out on you, too. Joe, they need you.
Well, we got a three to nothing match here with Ralph and Efren. Yeah, well, Efren's break let him down both racks. Yeah, he and then he played that bat, that uh, soft safety on the one ball and got no rail. But Ralph has given him ball in hand, scratching right in the side. That's the probably right. if you ask a professional what's the worst thing that you could ever do, they'd say scratch straight in the side on the break. That's so annoying. It's one thing, you know, if you get kicked in, yeah, it's, pool, it's pool gods. You can, you can justify it any way you want. But when it goes straight in the side, it's 100% on you. I know. It's a, and it's anno uh, annoying. Yeah. How's Luckily that 4-8, uh, Bobby? Is that on. pretty good? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Boy, he come up short there, too. I mean, he's just, he's, he's kind of half-stroking. No, this is, this is going to, he's going to have to. He's, go he's around, going, he's yeah. Going behind the ten, yep. Yeah, gonna have to get in there snug too. He did. Perfect. I think the four is close enough to where it's just gonna pretty much. Stay it should where just it is. replace yeah. the eight, yeah. Maybe move over like a half inch. Or right, but and he needs the cue ball at least out like where the seven is, you know, yeah. for the angle from the four to the five. Yeah. Can't over over amp this though. No, it's got to be medium slow to, mm -hmm. keep, to keep the four there. Yeah. I believe he'll be all right. Stay down. He did, but he let the cue ball go. Well, you know, he let up on his He let up on the stroke. Let up yeah. on the stroke. Yeah. He decelerated even, through the cue ball. Even though you're drawing it slow, you still got to go through the ball. Right. Otherwise, yeah. it's not going to have any backspin by no. the time it gets, it gets there. there. It's rolling forward. Right. Yeah. I think he's going behind the 10. I don't think he can do much else, do you? He got there. Yeah. I believe he got there. I don't think he can hit it. Uh, if he can hit it, he got a piece of it. He, if he could hit it full in the face, he's got to lock up safety. Oh, yeah, he's freezing behind that 7. Efren kind of slammed the chalk down a little. I don't know if that's because Ralph can hit the ball or because Efren didn't get out. I think it's... A little bit of little both, but more yeah. more because he didn't get out. I wish I had about a hundred cushions I can rent out to these people sitting on the <laughs> bleachers. Yeah. Like two dollars, you know, make a couple hundred. Back in uh, Look at this. yeah, just speaking of those kind of bleachers, back in uh, 1971. Of course, I'm from Boston, so I'm a you know sports fan there. And the New England Patriots didn't have a stadium. They they were established in 1960. They didn't have a stadium of their own. Uh, the first 10, 11 years, they played in, in, in Fenway Park. They played in a couple of the college stadiums. So they finally built them a stadium in 1971. It was called Schaefer Stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, Schaefer Beer was uh, helped mm -hmm. build it. And this was a 63,000-seat stadium, Bobby. It cost $3 million to build it because every seat was in one of these aluminum bleachers without a back. It didn't have sky boxes. They didn't have any of that stuff Real. back there. 63,000 seats like that on al aluminum bleachers oh my God. with no backrests. And that's why you, it cost only $3 million to build a stadium. You could have done well with, the, with your cushion concession there. Yeah. But we used, to, we used these in Reno for like 20 years at the Reno Opens and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. And people were bringing pillows down from their hotel mm -hmm. room and they were actually stacking up banquet chairs on them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they're just horrible. I don't know how you can last on that for more than 15 minutes. And meanwhile, Ralph with just another workmanlike performance here. Taking uh, advantage of everything that Efren's given him. This is a little touchy. Yeah, I almost, if he's got enough, I like center ball and just straight at the seven, even if you only come a foot. I think he might be too straight. Well, and if he snatches it back, he's he, he got, got the nine. Now it looks like he's going forward. Yeah, so spin up 
he actually got overcut it a little bit. See, he did yeah. that because otherwise, even though it's not straight, that cue ball can follow right in the hole oh, on yeah. that shot, right? If you don't I've hit it. I've seen it yeah, happen. Yeah. yeah, and then and you're the most surprised guy in the world. Oh, yeah. I had a three-inch angle. How could it follow it straight in? But it happens. Got a four to nothing match here with Ralph. He's playing good. Steady. He's such a steady player. If you ever want to bet on a match, it's Ralph is one to bet on, I'm telling you, because he is solid as a rock, isn't he? He takes his time. He's got a great speed about when he plays. I mean, yeah. <laughs> solid as a rock. He's a, a thinking man's player. Yep. Never, ever have I seen an emotional outburst from Ralph Suke. No. Never. How do you do that? Um, <laughs> How do you do uh, that? Self-training and self-discipline. It, it is, it is, and I guarantee it ain't easy. And Torsten's yeah. like that, too. Yeah, I know. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, they've taken a timeout on the other table. It's 4-1 to one in favor of John Mora. Let's see if Everett moves to the rail. Well, we better put some more oomph in it, no matter what you know, he does. He's still breaking from the center. Eight and a side. That yeah. was much better. Good cue ball. Give him something. Oh, oh six. Yeah, oh, six. This. No, don't do that. Can he get a piece and bank it across the I corner? don't think so. I don't think so. I if think he he's full. I think he's oh full man, hooked. That's cold, isn't it? Yeah. And he can't, he can't kick it in. All the balls are hanging. I mean, it's not even a good place to push. Unless you push near the three ball and then play yourself a real first shot. I think that's about the only place mm -hmm. I see, and Ralph's going to know every every way out of that trap. Yeah. But I do and think if... And if he plays your real first, his automatic position yeah. on the two. You know, or, or, the or he rolls the five up in front of the one seven, the one six, leaving a, a little bit of a kick, but maybe creating a, a little bit of a traffic jam. Well, he's rolled to where it can be hit. I think he's going to bank the one straight across and, and go to the short rail and come up and get behind the, behind the six. I don't know if he gave him the whole ball. If he did, certainly Ralph's just going to put him behind the six, like you say. Yeah. But I'd be surprised if Efren left him the whole ball because Efren would know that that would be the return. I don't think there's anything else he could have done there, though. We'll no, yeah. just maybe let Ralph have less of the one ball. Then he, then, he, then it's going to be tough if he has to hit it, then he might scratch in the corner. Yep. So we'll see. There was there was no easy easy no, place to go. No, there wasn't nothing here. I'm just curious if he's going to take it. Well, it's pushing. I, we, I even talked about it there. So let's push it after the break, man. It's tough. 
tough to figure out what to do. You know, it's hard to push. Well, that's why I've started over the past few years to entertain the thoughts that um, basically maybe the push out has become kind of a an obsolete part of the game. And I'm just wondering if you simply just took the push out out of the game. Sure, the guy can break, make a ball, get a bad roll, have to kick and all that, but then it's the same for both guys. It would certainly speed the game up a little bit, and then it would, it, it would take one aspect of strategy away, but it would bring back other elements a, of mean, a lot yeah, more I kicking agree. and strategy and all of that. Look at this shot. Well, how good did he? Oh, he got on. It's got to get behind the five, and I think it will. Taking the push out of the game, would there be a couple of pluses and a couple of minuses? You yeah, know? but uh, but but if if the, if the pluses and minuses balance them out and it makes the game go faster, ah, that's right. I think that's a good, good trade-off. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. You know, I mean, what was it? The was early '80s when the push out came into play and Texas Express and one foul and ball in hand and all of that. But guys like you and me. Like we've talked about, we, we grew up without push-outs. Without? Yeah. Did you? Well, you played rollout nine ball right, yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. yeah, but when when I played, when I first started playing, there wasn't even, at well, least in no the place I played. There's there no push-outs playing straight pool, Ken. <laughs> no, I, I, did play, I, did, I did play a little nine ball. <laughs> but back then, after the break, if you, you know, if you made a ball, you had to hit the lowest ball. But that may have been maybe that was just the pool room I grew up in. It was. Yeah. I think. But once again, everything, everything, you know, lowest how ball behind the line spotted. And well, how did we get? How did he get here? We were he cut the one in the side. But how did Cuba wind up way the heck down there? Well, he was thin on the one. It went came between the two and the ten and went back down there. He. That's all he could do because he. He had he had to hit the one hard enough to get it to the pocket because yeah. he was so thin on it. He yeah. couldn't he couldn't slow the cue ball down. I think he made the one more out of defense than offense. This isn't too hard of a hit like he's doing. If he hits right by the point, he's going right into the deuce. I believe he'll hit this two on the outside is what he's trying. And put it behind the three. Look at this shot. Boy, hit this ball. It got a little. That's all right. Made a good hit. But he's not going to like what he winds up with here. The two. He can't play the two, three carom. I don't think. He's just going to duck here. He might try to put the two on the rail over here and get him behind on ball. I can't tell what he's doing if he's even going for this ball. Oh, yeah. He, no, that's uh, yeah. Put him behind those balls. Yeah, he's going to let Ralph see the whole ball. It's on the rail, but he can see the whole yeah, ball. And he's he's going to be just in jail after this. Yeah, bank behind the, two the ten. Up. Yeah, bank no, the two. No, I bank the two straight up and high behind the three. Just hit, hit, hit the. Is it far enough off the rail for uh, him to yeah, do that? Yeah, okay. He got, got a mile. Okay. Yep, he's going to be behind the three on this one. He just banked two straight back up. He just hit the two ball straight in the face. Gently, and he'll hide behind the three and six. I mean, the three and seven. Mm -hmm. Yep, right behind. Just got to hit it slow. There you go. Gotta get the money, just like I said. There you go. Yep. And you don't even need to get the two ball all the way up no. there. You, th yeah, you play mostly cue ball there. Yeah, I knew he was going to be in jail there. Look at this kick, boy. He just he just hit the ball so pure. And he did you see this? He yeah. called a shot. Did yeah. you see the shot he just made? <laughs> Did you see what he just I didn't did? I didn't see it. He, the two ball sitting. I saw where the two ball was. And he kicked it in two rails and called it. Oh, God. Well, we better kick this one in, too. Oh, we didn't spin it enough. No. Didn't well, spin it enough. After making the two, enough. he just shot his wad. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. a heck of a shot he made on the two. 
Four to nothing. What a beautiful shot he made on the two. I'm excited when the eight ball is going to start. Me too. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're actually going to get some eight ball tomorrow night in the challenge match in the uh, OB challenge. That's a scotch That's doubles eight ball. That starts at six. Six tomorrow. So yeah. we're going to be here at six tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch. Excuse me if that was me. Well, we probably have 100 people in the stands watching this match. Well, easily. Many more standing outside. Yeah, yeah. No, nope. not going to get there. Get there. No, just left them long and tough. Well, it's close. It's close. Yeah, he may not be able to make think, it. I don't think he can make it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he can he make can it thin, either. He can hit it. If he's hitting it, he's just going to try to thin it. Put the three on the middle of the rail and then go back behind them balls. Hopefully, miss. He's trying to figure out how to get back down there without hitting the seven. Right, right. No, he can hit. No, he can't hit it. Yeah, he's back kicking it and called it in the left side. Oh, he made it. No, he no. made it. Oh, no, oh, don't oh, scratch. No, no, no. You know how close he came to making that ball and hit the point. I mean, as soon as I saw the ball hit the short rail, I thought he I made thought it. It, it looked, made it looked it so looked good. Yeah. That ball was hard to even hit, much less come that close to making yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's really not much to say here. The three and the four in the same pocket, the five straight in, the six. I mean... a little bit goofy angle here. He didn't want to be on that side of the ball because he's wanting to shoot the five in the corner and he got where he's got to either bounce out or draw back and shoot the five on the side. Yeah, he didn't. No, he turned out all right. It was, he twisted the ball in. Let that one roll a little bit more than he wanted. But he's still all right. Match on our far table over here. Young, what's his name? Ah, whatever. Morrill's got Morrill's four to two. Morrill. That's um, Ko Ping Chung. God, well, That's the younger, I younger know, brother. I, well, I keep keep forgetting this, the name. Listen. Ko Ping. Right there. Got it. Okay. Ko and Ko the, and the brother is Ko Ping Yi. Got it. Okay. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna have pick this guy as your horse to win the whole thing, you better you better learn how to pronounce well, his name. You don't see this name often, especially well, if in Memphis, where well, I'm from. Well, I understand, but a we ain't in Memphis, and b you've been sitting here for three days. <laughs> Hush up. So, <laughs> no, you ain't, get, you ain't getting off the hook that easy. <laughs> 
Plus, you're going to change your mind three more times I'm anyway take, before I'm we get there. I'll pick somebody up. Believe me, I'll have two more picks before it gets to the final. <laughs> That's how I roll. Yeah. Wow, five to nothing, Ralph. Got to be, got to be tough for Efren to sit there and absorb this. You know, I mean, such a proud, proud man, and I hope he realizes that the rest of the pool world has a lot of forgiveness in it for him. Though we understand, he doesn't play. Trying to get the rack straight. You know, Bobby, I just noticed when I went out there, they removed the spot from the table. There's no oh, spot there. Oh, I know. I, I, I don't. I don't. I. I know they did something to the cloth overnight to. Well, to they needed to put the, a the spot on there. They restretched the cloth to, to straighten it out. Is, I mean, is there not any spots? I've got spots. Yeah, I've got spots. Well, they need to put one on there. Yeah. Right. Oh, look! I can see right now. Look! Yeah. How crazy! Is I'm not that? sure. Well, how come nobody said anything. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure I want to do it in the middle of the match. I think I'm going to wait till after the match. Uh, it's kind of... Well, how come nobody said anything? I have no idea. That is bizarre. I don't you know. You got two Hall of Fame I don't think I don't think there's a spot on the other table either. Well, how the, I don't... I can't, there, I can't is tell. Is there any markings to where you rack the balls? There's a little dot. Well, actually, what I've, I've got is the indentation, you know, yeah. from... And, and there's actually a little m pencil mark on the table for the rear of the of the magic rack, so I can line it up square. You know, it's like like a long string, but it's no there's no line With there. With the magic rack, you gotta tap the balls in. No, no, you don't tap them. No, you don't tap them. 
but you've got to orient the magic rack so it's straight, oh, you yeah. know, and square. And that was what Ralph, why Ralph asked me to re-rack. I had it cockeyed a little well, bit. Why don't they put little dots where the... There, there is a dot for the rear of the rack, and usually the spot gives you the front position. But with the little bit, yeah, 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 I got you. But I got with you. the spot missing... Um, yeah, you can't. You don't know what you, yeah, I see what you're saying. Well, I, I'm going by the, the, the mini divot that's been yeah. created by the blasting of the one ball for, for four days. Right, right. Know? And th and that's actually for those of you that really want to want to know the the technical reason for that. That's what causes the divot to to start to grow in a pool table by the spot is the constant blasting of the one ball by the cue ball. I didn't know that. Well, how else do you think this thing happens? People hammer. Well, pounding the one ball. Yeah. You can see one growing here, and no one's touched the one ball, tapped it all week. Yeah, I never even thought about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Because all the energy is transferred by the one ball, exactly. and, and it actually probably has a little downward force to it before it yeah, transmits yeah, all yeah. that energy through the stack. And uh, also, I even, in, even if you're day. playing eight ball, too, the same oh, thing. Yeah, so, yeah. The bigger the mass behind the ball, you know. Exactly, the harder it's going right. to go down. Cause, yeah. Learn something every day from Mr. Schumann. Left him a window. He can't pocket this ball, but he can play safe. I don't know. A little touchy for a safety. He'll just try to put the one ball back on the table. I don't think he can. He doesn't have enough angle to get behind the 10 here. If he tries to angle up behind the 10, the one's going to hit the 10. So that, that, don't, that won't work. Where at? What hole? Probably the left hand corner. Yeah, he had no shot there. Would you get a spot? Yeah, I'm going to go get this. Just trying to leave him as tough as he could. There's no shot there, and there's no shot here. I don't know what he's going to do. He might try, to, might try to play safe here and put the cue ball behind the two and the two and the six. Yeah, that's a tough shot. Jacked up over the ball. He really. If he would have made it or come closer, he would have double kissed. He had a, a funky angle. The ball couldn't be made. He was basically playing the safety. Another tough shot Ralph's got to come up with here. Let's see what he does. Well, if the three wasn't there, he'd go ahead and just spike it in with low yeah. right, you know, and draw over and back. Oh, yeah. But with but the three, with the three there, up. it's going to play tougher. Can't really go forward and get on the two, I don't think, because of the five ball, right? Goes forward two rails, he might run into the five. Yeah. It's 
And the only other thing is cut it in the other corner and run into the four. Which that's what I like. Yeah. yeah that's what I like, but he's doing something else. He's drawing over the rail and coming back. This will be a monster shot if he can execute this. This is a tough shot. Look at this. Wow. Oh, boy. How Jacked up. How good did he hit that? And that was really smooth. <laughs> and shot it right to the middle of the pocket. Really smooth. Boy, that's a tough shot, too, I'll mm -hmm. tell you. Really smooth. Of course, when it's a little easier when you're 5-0 up. You know, well, a little tougher yeah. shot if it's been, if yeah. it's been a five zero down. Yeah, or or, or eight eight. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a tough. But he hit it so perfect. Well, he, he's he's playing with a lot of confidence too right now. It's easy to tell that. Like Mora's getting ready to be six to two over there on Well, I'm pretty confident in, in the following statement that if John Mora wins and uh, Ralph beats Efren, uh, Mara will win the group. Because they're, they're, he'd win the head-to-head -head tiebreaker with uh, uh, Ko Ping Chung with two and one records. Because Efren would then be one and two, and Ralph would be one and two. So the only way there's, there's a possibility of John winning and not going through would be for Efren to come back and win this match. And that's not looking good. No. 5 0, you know, when you're No, he's just, not, he's just not playing all that well, and he's certainly not breaking well. All those factors are working against him. Well, the difficulty here really is going to be the six to the seven. He's got 10s take, taking yeah. up a lot of room. He's, I think he's going to wind up short-siding the 7, whichever way he goes. Now he can't. Oh, well, he oh can. no, he can. Maybe he can just Go float right forward. Straight through. Yeah, yep, just like he did on that other one mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of the table mm -hmm. there a few racks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe he'll just go right down here. and He's aiming to like the diamond on the short rail. You know, he might be going in between the six and ten. It's hard to see. It's hard. You can't. Yep. Yeah. Needs a bounce. Ooh, this is going to play a little tough. If he's straight in, it's. I think he can. I think he can snap it back and maybe get to the first diamond on the long rail. Yeah. Looks like the cue ball's off a half a inch. Hair. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about going forward though. What do you think? He's yeah, going, he's, going, he's forward. going forward. Two rails. It's kind of a delay follow here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smooth as silk. What do you look, uh, look at this. Sorry we even doubted you there for, for a minute, Smooth as Kaiser. Silk. I think he's just going to use center ball and shoot 10 in the same pocket, I believe. Yeah, I think, this cue, I think this cue ball will straighten itself oh, out. No, he's, with going, he's going forward. Yeah. Look at this. We know what happened there. He one stroke it. Yeah, yeah. I like the shot that he did. That's that drag inside. Yeah. The cue ball just, just hugs down the, rail. the rail. But he just one stroked it. All that happened. No, well, maybe. Uh, maybe we can see a little of the old magic.
I think they've um, they've been in storage for a long time and uh, in the heat. Yeah. So uh, the glue evaporated. They have more, but I'm not going to try to take care of it during you know during play right now. We'll do it in between games. Yeah. Well. I think we'll. Uh, that one works. Yeah. Well, I got to do both tables. We'll do we'll do them in between matches. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Time over on the other table, Koping Chun got another game back on John, and it's now five to three. So, you, <coughs> so you, you think they call him just like Ko? Ko, just call him Ko? Well, actually, Ko is the last name, but when they, the, the way uh, that. Uh, the Asians <laughs> pronounce uh, or state the name. It's you. It's always. It's Co is like the family name. It would be like LeBlanc Robert. Yeah. yeah. So, if we just said Co, and there's two brothers here, one's Co Pin Yi and yeah. one is Co Ping Chung. If we just said Co, they'd both answer. Well, or people watching in Taiwan not know, might yeah. not wouldn't know they which know. which brother yeah. we were referring to. Yeah. I got you, Schumann. So, <laughs> but um, I spoke to their interpreter, you know, earlier mm -hmm. in, in, in the week, and the correct way for us to say it is Ko Pin Yi and Ko Ping Chung. But when you see the name card, the name card will have it reversed. The yeah. name card will say Pin Yi Ko or Ping Chung Ko because we Americanized it. Gotcha. The correct way is Ko Ping Chung and Ko Pin Yi. Nice shot. Efren with another dry break. John John Moore's lead is evaporating quickly. It's now five to four yeah, over there. I see. And if Ko Ping Chung wins that match, he wins the group outright with a 3-0 and record, having have beaten John Mora and these two Hall of Famers. It's not bad for a teenager, huh? Yeah. What'd you do when you were 18? I oh, I beat Efren. I beat yeah. Ralph. I beat some stud from Canada. What'd yeah. you do? Well, we were skipping school. <laughs> I was in a body cast. Oh, God. I'm not sure I want to hear about that. I'm just glad you're you're out of it. Yeah, car wreck. Oh, boy. Killed my two friends. Oh, gosh, Bobby. Yeah. Let's not talk about Overcut that stuff. It. Overcut it. It's not that, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, that's, that's sad stuff. Uh, I don't, yeah. don't want to hear. Oh, let's, no. let's not, let's not talk about sad things. This is sad hearing this stuff, too. Yeah. How's he going to get back here? Oh, is he going to go under the seven? Right, behind, up, right up the rail? The seven, right, yeah. yeah. Nice. He needs it to come off the cushion a few inches. Well, a little steeper than he'd like to be. Yeah, this is this is, this is is not easy here. No, how do you hold it for the four? You, you know, yeah. you can't unless you try to run into the nine. I don't know what he's going to do. He's probably Three rails. You know he might go all around all them balls behind the eight. How about, the how about drawing into the six? How about doing that? That's what I would have done. Two-way shot, good safe. Mm -hmm. and this, is, this is pretty hard to hit from where it's sitting. Look at this angle. He's got to hit this ball on either side. It's tough. 
I believe he's got to go this way, but this this is tough. What do you well, think? Well, I, I go I go to the left as we're looking yeah, with like spin that. because it's a bigger ball. You go the other way, you you only got half the ball oh, yeah, to he hit. He can't go the other way. He's got to right. go like yeah. He's got to go this way. Right. And he can't go and three rails because no. of the seven. And it's still a, this is still a pretty hard hit here without. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And yet you, you you can even scratch by the seven ball. He hit it right on the money, and he got. He got real good, real good leave, you know, but. When you hit a ball like that, that's the toughest ball to hit, a single ball out in the open like that. When you hit a ball like that and you get a reward, I think it's justified because you've, oh, yeah. you've made a real nice nice strike on it. Oh, he didn't want it to hit the eight, but as long as he gets behind the four, it'll be okay. He didn't get there. But left him, this is a hard shot. This is a hard shot he left. But if he... It, well, that's a I that's, it, that's a, a tough th shot to make from there. Real tough. Right. You got to get back. You know, that's really a tough shot. And and you know that shot, in your mind, you know you're going to have a tendency to hit it fat into the cushion, so mm -hmm. you overcompensate, Overc and, and then it. you wind up overcutting it. Yeah, it's hard to force your mind to not be tricked. Uh, he got him. He can make it real first, but he can't hit it straight on. And real first is not that good real because you've got to come around everything. Or he could also, real first, he could scratch in this other corner. Yeah. And it's going right, and going pretty close to that hole. How about, like, well, I know he can't make it, he can't hit it to kind of bank it down by the four and come, come underneath the ten. I don't think he no, he can't. Of it. Yeah. And I don't think he can hit it real first and put it on the other side of the ten five. He'd let the cue ball get away. He's kicking at it to try to yeah. make it, but this is a hard shot. He could possibly scratch. Oh, the scratch is very much in play here. He's got to hit this with a little bit of speed, you know, to get back. To get the cue ball around. Got to get, behind, get away from all them balls. Right. You know, I'm not sure he was actually trying to make the ball. I think he was trying to do what he did is is, is uh -huh. play it rail first thin, put it on the short rail and bring Whitey all the mm -hmm. way around them colors. Maybe so. Yeah, maybe so. Because there was no to advantage it. to make it. Position was way and too he, hard in the scratch to possibility. If he's trying to make it, he wouldn't miss it that far anyway. Right, right. Yeah, he wouldn't miss it that right. far. He'd have come close, real close to making it. This, this like, no looks bark. like he can slice this in. Swish. Oh, stop. 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 No, I think it, it got did, him. It, it got didn't. Him. Yeah, it didn't. I have to curve Ma another say one. this. Yeah, he's going to have to mass say it. Maybe rail first. And then bank it off and go two rails and play safe. No, he can. There you go. He's frustrated. You know, he's not getting much to shoot at. No, he hasn't he, had no he, control he's, of whole, he, the whole match. I don't. I don't think he's made six, eight balls the whole the whole set. Mm -mm. He's had a lot of tough stuff to shoot. 
Had a lot of tough things to kick out of. He's just going to hide behind all these balls down here with this cue ball, I believe. Nice shot there. It took place just, get yeah, behind that took one play ball. just behind one ball. <laughs> yeah, yep. sure was. Yeah, but he's playing all cue ball there. Yeah. Again, not trying to, to, to control both balls. He knows if he gets the cue ball there, it doesn't matter where the four goes. Efren's going to two reel back kick it. Called it in the lower left. I missed it. Missed it. And he actually simplified things by opening the 10-5 up even further. Six is a little funky, but the five now lays a little easier. Looks like it looks like it might go in both corners. I think he's just going to draw us right straight up the rail, right? Shoot the five on the right corner. Yeah, I'd want to be around the right side there. pocket. Right, right yeah. there, right around the side pocket. Spin over yep. there and shoot the six down there. Yeah, I believe he'll need Yeah, he'll need, to need an angle on the six, but uh, not a big one. Somewhere in the vicinity of the eight ball would be the ideal place to be for the six. What's the score over there? It's 6-4 uh, six, four six, four John. John. shoot this with with top left I believe and go two rails I think he'll come off this long rail and try to bounce out about three four inches we'll see what he does just like this just like this two rails three inches there we go perfect yes sir Jacked up. Look at this. Uh, my eyes are right. This is a pretty simple shot. Watch, watch how smooth he goes through this. Jacked up. He wanted that he to come out a little, a little further. Yeah. He hit a little fat. He didn't yep. mean to hit it there. Yeah, but you know when you're jacked up like that, you tend to take a shorter backswing, mm -hmm. and sometimes, which which is proper, but sometimes you just um, you don't you don't go quite through the cue ball. Yeah. As uh, as much as you'd expect to, but I definitely find on on those jacked up shots, or even when your cue ball's on the rail and you just slightly elevated a, a shorter backswing, helps you in your transition from your backswing to your forswing, and it maintains your accuracy to the cue ball because you've also got a much much tougher line of sight because it's unnatural. the 50-yard line, I think, Bobby. Yeah, he wanted to come about two, two or three more inches yep. before he just, you know, draws yeah. right back. Looks like it's going to go to the left side of the 10 now as we're looking. It's kind of almost at the 10 with the draw. I think he can draw it straight back, you know, shoot the 10 on the right corner. Yep. Yeah. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. Draw it back about three feet. Just like that. Perfect. Same shot, Bobby. I'm sick of this shot. <laughs> I really and am. cue balls on the rail I've again, trying, too. I've been trying to forget that shot for years, and, and this is bringing back bad memories <laughs> for me. It is. Yeah. 
I, I, I tell every time I see it, like I cringe. <laughs> okay, game number seven goes to Ralph Suke. Six one. Both these matches uh, being played at kind of a, a deliberate pace. <laughs> I would not be surprised about that, though, being the last day, excuse me, last couple of matches. The one match we can be sure will not have a slow pace is the Shaw Bustamante match coming up next. No kidding. Watching Jason play, I swear, we, me and Billy was talking about it. It's like it looks like he's practicing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's you know which could, which can be intimidating. What's up, buddy? See there? Oh, he's getting ready to play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he's wanting to watch Everett, too. Django Bustamante sitting up here with us. He's going to watch the end of this match. Well, the combination's tough because that ball yeah, is on the it cushion. Yeah, on the rails. It's yeah. it's, it got kind of funky. Can't, and I don't know if he can make the one in off the long rail off the ball. It looks pretty tight there. If he does, he's got to fire it. He's got it right. Yeah, he's got to hit it pretty hard. Right. If it's frozen, he's got it. Well, and then the other problem is you'll be on the, st on the side of the two where you've got to shoot the two at the eight unless you're yeah. right next to it to I play it in the side. the side. Yeah, but you've got to be within six, six inches of that ball to make it in the side. Oh, no, no problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, I know you could make it from up right. here. Well, I, I hit him good yesterday from up here. According to what I think. Yeah. Billy dogged a couple shots oh, there he yesterday. He's playing bad at yeah, the end. Yeah. Well, he was tired. Yeah. He fu he's funny. Mm -hmm. He said, you think there's ever been two commentators just walk off? Yeah. <laughs> he's nuts. You know, because they had missed a few balls, each of them, you know. He yeah, I guess he was trying the combination. No, he, I, no, I think he was trying to make it off the rail. Off the rail? Yeah, he no, just caught okay. that ball. Yeah. And now the fives block this pocket. Oh, he's yeah, he's he's in. And the nine the and the nine blocks the cross side. He can't he can't get out from here. This is too. You know, and he, the the two has no pocket except that side. And if it even has there. that. He can't even get there from here. No, the only thing, and it'd be awful risky, and I don't even know if he can do it, is to hit this one with low left, hit it real and fat, and, and come right at the two. Exactly. Yeah. And then he's. You got flirting with scratching in his eye. Yeah. But I was going to say the same shot. That's the only thing he can do. Yeah. He's got to hit it hard and hope he hits a two. Yeah. But he's got to hit it that's full. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. There's no he's other He's loading shot. it up. Oh, he hit a great. Hit the two ball. Jesus Christ. You don't know how good a shot that was to make he that ball. It. He missed it like a half inch. Just and you could hear how solid that ball was hitting yeah. when it went into the pocket. Yeah, he, that, he hit it so sweet, didn't he? Jesus. He really did. <laughs> he really did. Split the pocket on Again, the one. Again, no reward. And he came right at the ball, too. Yeah. Will this bank? No, this doesn't bank. No, he's just. Oh, he did have enough room, but it was so severe an angle from that distance. And you know you've got to, p you've got to miss the, the near point. And when the ball's that close, I mean... You, you've got literally no room, no room at all. Well, 
Well, he hasn't had much of a, you know, much of a chance this whole match. One or two, you know, every time he gets to the table, it's funky. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, um, he's yeah, he's never, he's never gotten, gotten an inning with, you know, six, six ball connect the dots or anything broke, like that. He's broke dry, dry like three times or whatever. Yeah. But Ralph has also played an excellent defensive game. And when he's had to hook him, he's hooked him. And when he's had to get out, he's right. got out. He's I mean, the only him. real mistake I can recall Ralph making, <coughs> other than that one ball he just missed here, which is certainly forgivable, was, was dogging that nine ball down here in the corner a couple of racks ago yeah. where Efren got his one game. Yeah. But it's been a vintage Kaiser performance here. And this is how he amassed all those championships and all those world titles and wound up with a, a plaque next to the greats of the game because he certainly is one of them. Ralph, to me, is a bit of a, uh, a modern-day Jim Rempe as far as world traveler, ambassador for the game, beloved by everybody, complete gentleman, plays all games well. Mm -hmm. um, he's, just, he's just a credit to the sport. And if you noticed, well, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but one of the reasons, uh, that is one of the reasons why uh, he has six sponsors. Out of all the players I announce, he's usually the guy that, that uh, takes the longest because he has uh, six top level sponsors really? because he's he's such a popular figure and such a great representative for all those companies. And I'm sure he may even have uh, even more maybe at a lower tier, mm -hmm. especially back in Europe. Well, the score is seven to one. Efren hadn't had no chance to get in the match. You know, he's every time he gets up, he's got no shot, and he's broken dry like four times. Nothing's going. He broke good yesterday. The last, you know, the last half of his match. He did. He did. He was breaking good, making that second ball. You know, I almost feel guilty when I rack the balls and the guy doesn't make a ball in the break, no matter who it is. Well, it's your kind of kind of feel responsible. Yeah, just well. like a dealer when you give yeah. the guy the card on the river, same thing. Yeah, damn dealer's fault. Well, the other match is tightened up all the way to six five six now. Five, look at this. I think John had him six two at one point. Or at least five two. I don't know 
know if he can bank this two ball. I think the three might be in the way. If not, maybe the seven's in the way, but either either way, I'm not sure there's an advantage to, to trying to make it. Could put him right under the nine. It's hard to see when you it's hard to tell the angle. You know. Yeah, it's hard to see how he much he's how much he's got it. Yeah, ball. he could do that too. Yep. You know. That's what I think he's gonna do. No, no, he did what you said. He, he didn't get there. No, he can make it in the side. I know. Yeah, he didn't get there. Yeah, he can make it in the side. He's got to miss the ten ball. And he's going real close to hitting ten too. Put the brakes on, baby. But not now. Well, he's this one. This one's even harder. He's shooting at the same hole. Yeah, I don't think that the corner pocket up here is the threat, but you know, this is a shot where you can hit the point of the side coming back down. Watch the point of the side. Ooh. But he didn't make the ball anyway. No, he's you know, I f you got you got a feel for the magician here, you know. He all all he really wants is a opportunity to be able to, to showcase, you know, what what we know he can do, even if it's only in spurts. But it's got to be got to be tough to be looking at the short end of a seven to one score. He's trying to make this three. He's, I think he's going to draw the cue ball, try to spin way back down there and fire this ball in. He can't go forward. There you go. Yeah. He's going to try to spin. Yeah, if around. he can get anywhere near the side pocket on the left side, yeah. he'll be able to make the four. Oh, look at this shot. Oh, look, look how much he got on that cue ball. He went past the side of Diamond, Bobby. I know. <laughs> what a tremendous shot that was. Monster shot. And he split the pocket with the three. He just hit the dead center. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, I don't really think this has any factor to it, but I'm just going to mention it as a way of observation. Ralph's completely loose from the get-go here because he was 0-2, and, and he's only playing for pride. Yeah, there's an extra 250 here for the winner, but, I mean, he's playing with, with nothing to lose, so his stroke is real loose. His position was real loose right there because he's hooked. But I'm, I'm just saying I think that's more like a set of an observation. It's, it's not really a reason. He just, he's a great, great player, and that's why he's playing the way he is. Mm -hmm. And Efren's a great, 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 great player, but he just hasn't had anything to get going with. And this is such a rhythm game, even in the alternate break format. If you're running, running the rack when it's your turn, you're going to stay in rhythm most of the match and feel good and nice and loose and everything feels ca feels kind of natural to you. No, you're not forcing everything. I think he's just going to back kick it into the long rail and try to send it down there by the eight. Leave the cue ball up here. You see anything better? Two rails behind it. I like kick two it down rails there. It yeah, well, that either way, one or two rails, but I knew it was going to go up table. The thing is, by kicking it to that pocket, cue ball he's, mo slide he's, over and he's, he's more safe. likely to. S well, I think he's more likely to give up a shot this I way. Think he more likely to s well, he, hit it, he just didn't hit it right. Yeah. If he hits it. 
gets in there deeper. Well, if it hits the side rail and goes over, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. And the cue ball might crawl down the rail a little bit to hook him, you know. Yeah. Bit. He just didn't get in there deep enough behind the ball. Mm -hmm. know if he could just somehow manage to squeeze out two more games right here before Ralph gets another one not only would the score appear to be a lot more respectable but he can actually be just about back in the match yeah you I know then then a mistake by Ralph could have some meaning oh where yeah. right now Ralph's probably got he's just free -wheeling. yeah he's probably got a mistake mistake and a half in him that won't yet hurt him especially right. the way Efren's breaking yeah One ball, no. Two ball, yes. Look at this. Three ball hanging. Four will go in the side. Six, six is tough. Yeah, seven's hanging. I mean, that's yeah. six, seven. Yeah. Easy. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Actually, he could move the seven right now if he wanted to get a little frisky because the three's right near the pocket. And that's the next next ball. I don't think I would just in case you get underneath that seven and then the three becomes or, you know, or can, tough or you got to bank it. Yeah, that, well, yeah, but the six has a pocket. But you know, on second thought, Bobby, that might not be a half bad idea to I'd move that six. six. Come yeah. right at it and knock it up there. It might, it might I, think, I think a lot of it's going to depend on how deep the one ball yeah. is. Because it, it, like like it, it looks like the point's going to prevent that cue mm -hmm. ball from coming right out at the six. The six had me combination. Right, he's, looking, he's looking at the six seven right now. And this is the time to make up your mind how you're going to play those two balls before you even begin your out. Yeah. Well, yeah, the one might be too deep in there to do anything. I, th I think it is. There you yeah, go. He Without did, a yeah. Yeah, I, guess, I guess he had half the ball where the mm. cue ball would miss the point yep. and, and, and the other half the cue ball would hit the rail. Yeah, I like what he just did. Right. But now he's still got to uh, do some traveling here to get to that four. And the problem here is, is if he draws the ball, he might run into the six. 
Off the second cushion. Yeah. Uh huh. And if he tries to make sure he misses that, he could draw one rail in the side by the nine. Three rails. I don't think. I don't think lays lays natural. Yeah, I think yeah, three rails is is going to take him under the four or five. Right, and he's and jacked he's jacked up. up. Yep. He's drawing. He's going sure? low right, low right. And just trying to miss it. Trying to miss a six coming out like this. Oh, he hit it good. Yeah, if it stops. Or, no, didn't get a break. Boy, he's yeah, he, got, he got He got much more out of that than I think he planned. Boy. I can't believe it rolled down that far. You know, just kept going. Well, he's striking the ball awfully well, though. That's not going to work. He's got a kick to the short rail. Two rails. Oh, short yeah. He's got to go rail. up. He's got to go up table. Mm -hmm. I mean. And come into the long rail. The only other thing is straight across, and that makes the hit much more difficult than the potential for the foul. He could actually get safe here if he's kicking. Uh, if he kicks two rails and hits it thin, he might come over, get behind the 10. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if he goes this way. The four may go the other side of the ten, and the cue ball may st be stopped by the five. Exactly. There's a couple of good things that can happen here. Yeah. If he How about he can't he can't come two sharp rails out of this left corner oh, though. No, I, don't, no. I don't think so. No. No, I like the original thought, which is down table, short rail, long rail. I don't like this. I don't like kicking like this at all. You got a half a ball to hit as opposed to hitting the full ball. about a 10 times harder hit to Ken, don't you think? I don't believe he's going to shoot it like this. I guess he is. Well, even if he hits it, I, I can't like see him not I, I can't like see this. him not leaving a shot. Yeah, I don't think I bet he doesn't do it. Shocked that uh, I was me too. Uh, you know, it was a really, really hard ball to hit like that. I uh, can't believe it. he's got to go the other way. I, yeah.
down, we have a. The Panthers will put together a couple more games here before we're off to Turner Hill. We got a match. Look at this break. Look at this break. Nice. Just pop out, shoot the five in the same hole, and we should get out from here. Think they'll draw back to the long rail here in Kennedy Court. Nope. Perfect. Hi, Robin. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything else. Oh, boy. You know, I was just about to say, Cotton, that it may be what's going to transpire like we talked about at 7-2. He was going to get one and back and make a mistake and steal balls. one and get a good get a good out and get to 7-4. And, and then he, and he, has, then he misses that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, really can't, you really can't expect Ralph to turn this table over. He could have kept Ralph off the hill. He's in, he was right alive he, he, at seven that. four. I mean, right. then there's a little heat, little heat starting yeah. to build. Looks like we're going to go probably 30 minutes or so behind schedule now. I mean. Uh, even if these end in the next 10, 15 minutes, then we got to let the incoming players have, have a racker a piece and all that. So uh, we might pick some of it up, like I said, in the next round with the Jason Bustamante match. But, you know, it's Someone's okay. It's okay. Well, you know, I don't know. Scheduled was Corey Duell and um, Kevin Chang. And the reason for that is Corey has yet to play on the yeah, TV table. Say, yeah. But... The Bustamante Shaw match is the match that has the, all the impact on who wins the group. So earlier today, um, Justin was going to go talk to Ozzy, and I don't know if they've switched it back or not. Well, they should. They should. I mean, you know, well, Corey's going to have his chance to play on t on TV. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? They right. Should, they need to put the match on here, in my opinion. Yeah. That's important. Oh, well, I agree. You know, I agree. But you know, we were trying to we were trying to be fair to everybody and not slight anyone. But um, I'll uh, I'll find out. Or I'm sure. I'm, well, Justin said he was going to talk to Ozzy earlier, so if he has, I'm sure he's let Tim know. Yeah, I know that Justin's agreeing with what I said. Yeah. Well, well, me too, in yeah, a way. I mean, they got to put the they got to put the pressure match on the TV. Actually, after this rack, I, I think uh, Justin's probably just down in the studio in the back room there. I think I'm going to go down and check with him and Is ask. It the same code. No, it's different. Yeah. It's going to put Ralph on the hill here. And Ralph is breaking. Yep. Yeah, that might have been the last hurrah for the magician missing that five ball. He kind of can't like his chances much from here. Meanwhile, 6-6 six, six on the other table. And that match is dragging because they're playing a lot of safeties. They're not playing slow. It's just At last both game bo took a half an hour. both those guys <laughs> both those guys are you know real real cognizant of the situation that they're in, and uh, they're making sure they make no mistakes. I'm, I'm going to check with Justin.
yeah, we're going to have uh, the Bustamante Shaw match here on the stream when uh, yeah, when this is up. Breaking for the hill here. Efren had a good chance to catch it up and carelessly missed the five last rack, which is unlikely, but maybe this break here better. Well, what a break that is. Look at all these, every ball's hanging, and he just can't get the shot. He might bank this one into the nine, which I think he will. He could play safe here, but I think he's going to bank the one into the nine. He just has to cut it a little bit with a little bit of low left, which will throw the one ball toward there, but he could duck. But I think he's going to shoot the, the combination bank. I don't know. He could also put the one ball down where the chalk is at on the short rail. And try to get down here behind these balls, but he's ducking. Uh, he's ducking. He's going to try to just put the ball on by the chalk, I believe. Just like this. Just like this. There you go. Yeah, that's probably the correct shot. He got his man in jail. Efren just made another magician trick shot. Will he get rewarded? Yes, yes, nice shot. Here's this shot, perfect, perfect speed. Eight to four in this Efren's break. Sometimes that last game's hard to win.
magician is still alive. Same break here. Come on, Bada. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drew it right inside. Yeah. Well. You know, after he, after he makes the combination and has the one hanging, it's a question of is he going to play for the 310 or he's going to need the angle to slide by the 4-5. So he'd need to be out kind of where the 7 ball is. I believe he'll... Uh if the 310 is pretty lined up, I think, he, I think it's just too, too, almost too tempting not to go ahead and take it because it makes playing shape on the two so much easier. He can leave the one pretty much for whatever angle he wants. I think, you know, just bounce off the bottom rail, come out a foot at the most so he can draw it right up the side cushion. He might just stay right there too. Yeah. I just draw it three feet. If anything, you want to be cutting the two ball a little bit, but not much. But I just think it's uh, it just sitting too good there on that nine, on that 310. Yeah, there it is. Now, can he get the cue ball off the cushion? Doesn't look like he can get it very much off the cushion. And he's, you know, he's committed now. He can't he can't play, he can't do anything but play the 310. Yeah. Uh, you want to get pretty well dead straight in on the 310 here. You don't want to be cutting the three if you're on the rail. Yeah, he can roll up right around that middle diamond. Middle diamond, close. yeah. He cheated the pocket a little bit to keep the cue ball off the rail. Yes, I like it. Yeah, he's got to cut the three just just ever so slightly, but yeah, you'd have to, ex to you'd have to expect him to make this. Yes, yeah, this, this is not too tough. The cue ball is going to be going down there behind the six. No, I don't think he's playing. I think he's just going to play the ten. I don't think he's worried about the cue ball here. That's that's going to take too much focus off the shot. Swish. Game and match. So Ralph finishes with a one and two record, as does Efren.